Well, hello there, Snapchat. Glad you could join me. Welcome to another edition of today's science lesson. For this science lesson, I will be going over a presentation I did for summer two for my infectious diseases class. So, Gilan is staring at a bar that is approaching him. The bar is affecting distal extremities and ascending symmetrically. Then the bar essentially ascends all the way up him and progresses proximally. So that image I showed is sort of a literary metaphor for a real condition. It's called Gilan-Barre syndrome and essentially you start feeling numbness at your toes and that weakness and numbness progresses all the way up symmetrically up your legs then it will progress to your trunk and your arms and all the way up to your neck at that point you might have difficulty breathing and your heart rate might be affected this is a really weird condition in which the electrical insulator myelin is attacked by your own immune system. So your myelinated nerves are the fastest conducting nerves in your body and they're useful for really important nerve signals. When the myelin is disrupted or destroyed, that signal is impaired as it goes along the axon and cannot propagate. Essentially, you have a failure to convey the action potential along the neuron to the next neuron. Has your foot ever fell asleep before? Imagine that happening all across your entire body for potentially weeks to months at a time. So as frightening as that sounds, the potential source you can get it from is even more frightening. Chicken, yeah, chicken might end up paralyzing you for months at a time. A common foodborne illness that causes diarrhea is caused by a particular microbe. This microbe is called Campylobacter jejuni, or Campylobacter. So, Guillain-Barre syndrome, I just want to set the record straight, is a rare disorder. But, if you do get it, chances are the Campylobacter jejunum infection led to a nonspecific T-cell activation. This end result led to an autoimmune response. So if raw or undercooked chicken is a source, how do you avoid it? Aside from the obvious, one way to avoid it is to not wash your raw chicken. Cooking your food is going to kill off the bacteria anyway, and that is one of the reasons we cook our food. Washing it, on the other hand, isn't actually going to kill anything. Instead, you have bacteria aerosolized now, and it can spread all over your countertops and over uncovered food.